The final assembly line is vast. The sections are taken into hangars so big they dwarf this behemoth of the skies. Just a glimpse or the silhouette of one of the 1,500 engineers who work here is enough to refresh your memory of the size and scale of the A380. The first stage is the structural assembly, where the sections are fitted, including the landing gear. Each part requires precision and patience. It takes 13,000 rivets to join the three sections of the fuselage together and 4,000 rivets alone to attach the wings to the body. And the easiest way to identify who the planes belong to is by looking at the tail fins that have already been painted in the airline livery. An Air France and Emirates A380 have reached the next stage, where the avionics and onboard equipment are installed and the engines fitted. BA's first A380 has made it outside in one piece, ready for pressure and fuel testing. Each airline has its own build manager to inspect and support every stage of the assembly. We're looking at all the looming, all the ducting, it's very detailed in some places and also it's a, a general walk around, using the eye a torch if you need to. James Lewis started as a maintenance engineer with BA 25 years ago. To see an aircraft starting its composite building block then slowly turn into an aircraft, it's a fascinating experience. It's a great leap forward. This aircraft talks a lot more to the engineers. It'll let us know when we, can, we need to do some maintenance. The fact that we can interact with this aircraft in, in great new ways is, is fantastic. And it's the fleet of the A380 test aircraft like this one that's intended to make sure every inch of the Super Jumbo is fit to fly. From the performance of the engines to the onboard systems, all meticulously checked and analysed. Frank Chapman is one of the experimental test pilots that works across the Airbus fleet. This is the, uh, the primary deck for our flight test instrumentation. We have cameras dotted around the aircraft to give us an idea of what the flight control service is and what the, in this particular case, what the undercarriage is, uh, is doing. Particularly in the early step flights where we, we haven't really used the undercarriage very much, we want to make sure that the doors are coming up, everything's working in sequence, and so we can monitor that directly here. Some of the flights are fairly short and we might uh, stay in the local area between here and the Pyrenees for about an hour. We may run the aircraft uh, for several hours. Uh, particularly cooling at altitude, of course, where we're flying, a, we want to cool the, uh, the ducting for the lavatories, for example. We might want to make sure they don't freeze during a 15-hour flight. After the fuel testing is complete, the plane will fly to Hamburg to be painted and fitted with the cabin interiors. This whole process takes eight months, from final assembly until the keys are handed over and delivered. Aisha Dergahi, CNN, at the Airbus headquarters, Toulouse.